Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to look at the 1979 Darth Vader TIE Fighter. We would be honored if you would join us. All right, the 1979 vintage, right? This is vintage, Darth Vader TIE Fighter. Uh, I've been waiting a long time to get this because I've been collecting all of the Kenner ships for a while, of course, Started with the X-Wing, then moved on to the TIE Fighter, then went to the Land Speeder, right? And then from there, it was just, uh, which ship do I want to get next, right? And I had got the Millennium Falcon. Uh, I even got an A-Wing, I even got a B-Wing, I got the Slave 1, and I got a Y-Wing. And so really, the next one on the list was the TIE Fighter from Darth Vader. And, oh, yes, I have the Troop Transport and I have the ATSD. And the AT-80, yes, okay, so I have all those two. So I'd gotten a lot first, I had gotten a lot first. And this one was kind of, it was kind of eluding me because out there on eBay, uh, this comes in a lot of uh, unfinished stages. And I'd already built some ships from scratch, I'd already refurbished some, and I was kind of looking for a completely 100% vintage, decals, everything, no, no repro parts, and, and everything included. I didn't want to have anything missing. And so I found an auction where the guy had all original items and, get this, the lights and sound work and he even mailed it to me with fresh batteries inside. Couldn't have had a better uh, seller and I'm so glad to finally put this in my collection. Kenner originally released the Darth Vader TIE Fighter in 1979. Uh, this came out with the Millennium Falcon that we just uh, mentioned. It also came out with the Land of the Jawas playset, uh, came out with the Droid Factory playset, the Patrol Dewback, the Imperial Troop Transporter, and the Creature Cantina playset. All right, so a couple of the features of the TIE Fighter. Uh, one, it doesn't have the pop-off wings like the uh, regular predecessor, you know, the regular one. Uh, you can press in on these and the wings eject. This one does not do that. Um, probably because it sits kind of awkwardly because of these wings. There's so much uh, area in the back and not as much in the front that design-wise, when this sits on your table or wherever, uh, it kind of has an imbalance to it. And what collectors have found over the years is the, these wings and the springs inside of them and the connections get a little loose and they tend to sit awkwardly and I was really glad that this one has really strong snaps and so that's something you might look for is how this sits uh, so no no wing ejects the cockpit bubble is I mean I would say it's identical you're gonna have the same exact lift up uh, door entry here same exact uh, seat and computer readout and display these side panels these are stickers Okay, these are stickers and you can see mine have bubbles in them, but they're original and they're, and they're completed. It would have been nicer if this was a, a, a printed grid, you know, that you could feel that has a texture to it, but you know, they weren't doing that back then. And the other feature of course is the lights and sound and I'm gonna show it to you right now. If you've never seen it, you've never heard that beautiful, beautiful sound of 1970s Kenner lasers, here it is. I'm going to stick it out by my microphone so you can hear it. That's what it sounds like, kids. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what lasers in space sound like. So when this retailed, it uh, originally was on the shelf for $14.99. $14.99 in 1979. That's a lot of money. And you wonder why. You know, how come my parents didn't buy me the Star Wars ships when I was a kid? They only bought me the figures. They didn't buy me the ships. How come? It was $14.99 in 1979. Like, I would pay $19.99 for this now, right? Pay 20 bucks for this now. So $15 back in 1979, that was a high, that was a lot of markup on the ship, right? I would, I would guess that that was expensive. So you can only, only imagine uh, why some of our parents didn't buy us these ships. So I'm really happy to have this in my collection now. And uh, I'll stick some more pictures of course, in this video throughout, so you can see all the details and all the uh, finer things of Darth Vader's tie. 
Tell me what you think about this ship and whether you have it in your collection or if it's one of the ones that uh, you've been putting off for a while too. And thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.